when I met Stephen Curtis Chapman and I fell in love with him, everything changed. My plan was to meet and marry, I say, an accountant. And then three weeks into school, I met this green guitar, mullet-wearing musician that wore ostrich skin cowboy boots. And, you know, he was just this country thing. And I mean, three weeks into us even just hanging out with each other, we were already saying, I love you. So you're talking about a left turn. It was like a complete U-turn from anything I had ever thought. We've had babies, we've had fires, we've had number one hits, we've had the struggle with depression, the six kids, the pressure of the public lifestyle. Anything and everything has happened to us. And I didn't plan to live the kind of life that I've lived in the last 25 years. When I was approached about writing a book, I didn't want to write just the book of the accident. I began to kind of look back at how none of my life has really gone the way that I planned it. I've had to choose to see my whole life story as God's plan. I mean, I've been wrestling against Him, you know, this whole way, but yet God had had a plan the whole time. And to see Him in that has been such an amazing thing. Adopting Shoei, our first little girl from China, was a big step of faith for the woman sitting in this chair. I was so afraid. I really just felt like I'm not going to feel the same and it's not going to be fair and, and all of that was just not true. And you know, the minute I laid eyes on her, obviously, I just would have died for her. And God really met me in a place there in that hallway in China as audibly as I could hear him speak you know, the message of the gospel, you know, that, you know, do you not get it now, you thick-headed woman, you know, that, you know, Shoei didn't do anything to be in your family. She didn't have a name, she didn't have any hope, but now she's yours, and she has your name, she has your inheritance, she has hope, and it's the same thing that I've done for you by sending Jesus. I literally heard all that as I'm, like, receiving her, and I'm, like, the, you know, world's just kind of stopped in motion, and so from then on, you know, obviously my heart was really, really captured to do more for adoption. And I didn't know at the time that meant two more for us. The day that Maria passed away, she had apparently done some artwork and I was gathering some stuff for the memorial service and um, Stephen went into the dining room where these little tables are and there was a paper and there was a, a flower drawn on this piece of paper and it was a six petaled flower and one of the petals was colored in blue and when he flipped it over there was a little orange butterfly and the word that she wrote was C, S-E-E. -E. And I mean that's the very thing that we had been praying, God, just in the midst of this horrific, horrific thing, you need to see you in this, it is so hard to have faith and to have hope. And so that just became a real, we call that a breadcrumb in our family. It's like, okay, we are gonna hold on to that. And I'm choosing to see now that he used every bit of it to move me to this place where I am now. And that I can share what God has blessed us with, what God has challenged us with, the hurts, the happy, the hard, the good. And you know, we just have to choose to see it. When we were going through um, the accident and that specific tragedy that happened to the Chapman family. Um, I felt like I was in this kind of swirling free fall. And when we landed, we landed on a solid foundation. And so that's really the message that I would want to offer someone because that was the comfort that was given to me by, I believe, the Holy Spirit is that you will land on a firm foundation and just keep believing and keep hoping because I do have a plan and I do have a future for you.